Hi. Welcome to the Animal Crossing Hi. Improv Show. Hi. Yay. Woo <laughs> we got a lot of cool stuff tonight. Look at this beautiful Sanrio outfit. Killing it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, so um, if you're in the chat, which there might not be anyone in the chat yet, because we just started, feel free to give us a suggestion of anything at all. My name's Allison. I'm here in sunny Los Angeles on this rainy stage. And let's meet our friends and see what they have to say. Hi, I'm Michael. I got maracas. Yeah, because I like to, to rock out. I don't know. Uh... I have been doing some streaming lately on my own channel, Michael Fromm. Uh, come check me out. I'm doing tarot cards for an audience of two. So if you would like to make it an audience of three, we're just waiting. Are you reading the tarot cards, Michael? No, I don't know anything. I have a, a, a witchy friend named Molly who reads my tarot oh. cards for me, and I make all the decisions uh, for my characters based on that idea. Uh, so I have a character that really is uh, ashamed of wealth growth which doesn't really work in fallout a game where i'm supposed to just take apart things and sell all the crap so i'm dying a lot it's it's pretty fun got it well molly is my blood relative um she's a good resident witch uh -huh. that's all i have to say she's amazing she has the crystals she has uh, a <laughs> chakra poster behind her next to her poster of final fantasy 7's midgar she's fantastic <laughs> she's like really in the like 30s lesbian dream world right now like she has all the plants all the crystals like everything like a dream what's a dream catcher I bet it's she perfect it's all going great she, she, <laughs> has, she has a cat named after uh a character from uh, the legend or the avatar yeah. the avatar show that's you can tell that i'm too old uh okay love it <laughs> hi everyone hey. i'm helena down from seoul south korea and I'm doing many, many improvs, and I love improv. And if you are interested to play with me, just to find out me on Facebook, Helena John. It's a double L, and maybe we can play 10 minutes. Yay! Hey. Hello, 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 hello. I'm Vincent from Manila. So I've been playing Monster Hunter over the weekend. So as a PSA, <laughs> If you love cats, then don't play it because I discovered you can kill the cats in Monster Hunter. I accidentally killed the cats while hunting. But if you do hate cats, then do play the game <laughs> if you like killing cats. <laughs> it depends on how you feel about cats. So if you love cats, then it's a zero. <laughs> no, it's not. It's maybe five because you have a dog and you have another cat. But if you love killing cats, then it's like a 10 over 10. That's what you can do in Monster Hunter. Did you watch the Netflix Don't F With Cats documentary? No, 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 no. It's so good. Actually, I, I'm not a cat lover, and it's so sad in Monster Hunter. I spent oh, so much time. That is not a show for cat lovers. The cats die. Okay. so And then I'm murders not... happen. It's a true crime. <laughs> oh, no. Sounds very terrible. Helena would hate it. It's very <laughs> graphic, and it's very disturbing, and it's terrible, but I really loved it. Vincent is like evil Helena, so he'll like he'll like whatever she won't like. There's <laughs> a balance that we Asians, there's like a nice Asians and there's like bad Asians. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> no, but the, it's funny because I, I spent 10 minutes, like more than like maybe 15 minutes customizing my dog. And since I never really had a cat, so I'm not a cat lover, it I, I just like default <laughs> for the cat. <laughs> like two minutes, like uh who cares but but now i'm starting to love cats by the way michael oh no so you're like, all right oh well, no look we're outnumbered this show most of the people that do this show have a lot of cats that just is what it is yeah. i think i'm the only person that has a dog <laughs> I have a it's, a, a, it's a very cat forward show cats oh thank you power selling 101 no mothers for helena thank you <laughs> hi I'm Sarah. I am in Los Angeles, California. I'm on pageant comedy. We're on fourth Sundays of the month on the Pack Twitch channel. Um, and I'm excited to be here. Yay! Yay! And I love cat. That's right. One more. It's me. 
Hey, it's Jared. I am in Chicago right now. Um, and uh, I do have a cat. My cat is very cutely laying on the couch uh, <laughs> nearby. I'm talking about you. Um, yeah, happy to be here. Yay. Awesome. So excited. So we got what, what might be suggestions. So one is there's a wasset in my closet. That's not a real word. So if you don't understand it, it's not a word at all. It's the <laughs> Dr. Seuss, the racist uh, children's cartoonist. <laughs> I think it's one of his <laughs> book words. Is that right? Does anybody know? I don't know what kids I are don't know what a wasset is. No, all I Nobody remember, knows. All I remember from Dr. Seuss is that I love Fox and Socks. And it's yeah. like a tongue twister. And I made my parents read it again and again. So I was mean to my parents because I just love how they would try to read it again and again. It's a diffi and it's a difficult book to read because of all the tongue yeah. twisters. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> if you want to read Dr. Seuss, you want to read Dr. Seuss to your kids, live your life. If you want to look up his anti-Japanese cartoons and just be the most offended that you've ever been, you can also do that. Uh, anyway, let's just go with children's books. <laughs> all right <laughs> their suggestion <laughs> yeah thank you power selling 101 yay yay Woo! hey daddy yes yes I want, I want to listen to that book please read that book please oh sweetie i uh you know, I'd, I'd really, really like to, but uh, we can't read those books anymore. Why not? Why not? What does it mean anymore? Uh, you know, uh, it's just that, you know, you're, you're young and you don't know how the world works, but let's just say those books over there in the corner uh, mm -hmm. we, we will never ever open those books again. And, uh, they have very, very bad things in them. So I know. Bad, bad thing? Ooh. Oh, I'm, I'm, I don't know. No, daddy, just to let me, let me see, let me see. Okay, you can okay. read it. All right. Okay, fine. My goodness. I, you know, I can't stand to see you cry. Okay, okay, let's see. Let's see what we got here. Oh, no. Is that one okay? Um, hmm. Yes, that one. That okay. one, Daddy. That one. All right. Okay, this one is called "Lives That Matter." Okay. Lives that matter. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. So. Uh, as you may see here, there's a, oh yeah, uh, there's a, we got a picture of a tree. <laughs> um, and uh, it uh, looks like this tree is asking another tree why they can't uh, grow uh, in, the sh in the shaded area with the other trees. Ooh, um, ooh, 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 daddy, daddy? Yeah. That's that's really really difficult to understand. Can you can you say it like easily? Like uh, how can you just? Uh... Yeah. Oh sure, I, I got you. Yeah. So so there's something called redlining. Mm -hmm. And and if it, 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 you know I know red is your favorite color, but in this case. It's not a good thing because see these trees. Are oh, getting... Daddy, red is my favorite color. Red oh, yeah. means passion and the uh, heart, and my heart is red color. That is true, sweetie. You are oh, you're just so adorable, and I oh, see oh, uh, yeah. So most of the time, I will say most of the time, uh, red is a perfectly fine I... color. Um, yeah, so your, your kid came to class and they were, uh, telling everybody about, um, lynching laws and, uh, Tignon laws about, uh, 
they yeah. said all the mixed race women need to cover their hair because it'll seduce white men. What what's up with that? I yeah. okay. Um, that's a little that's a little I hate to be look. <laughs> but don't you yeah. think that's a little we we do we have to do that yet? Uh you know, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't make the rules. Uh, I just felt like I didn't want my kid to, you know, learn anything that would get her canceled, you know, in a couple of years, you know? So I just, I was just really trying to do her a favor, you know, put her ahead of the game um, and, and teach her the way of the world. I mean, you know, honestly, because you're not doing it. I'll say that, you're not. Okay, you're, well, you're, I'm you're, teaching her to read. So, you know, she's not going to be able to choke down <laughs> the autobiography of Malcolm X <laughs> if she can't read. So, Tag. <laughs> um, teacher Shelly, uh, <laughs> as a principal here, we have new budget cuts uh, oh, God. in this school. Um, it's hard to say this. Unfortunately, we have to cut out the literacy program. Uh, the district says we want people to be illiterate and ignorant. Right. And so we just need to teach dance classes all the okay. time. So people will communicate is through dance. Okay. Because you don't want these students to grow up to vote one day, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so like this just means, so like one, so that just means okay. So we need to give kids confetti all the time. Okay. Uh, so, and we'll just make that out of all the books, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll shred it. Yeah, yeah. There's a wood chipper right there in the back of her school. Oh, wow. Oh, that's new. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right next to the pencil sharpener. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So tons, tons of fun. Tons of fun. And see, let's, you can also teach them, let's see, here. See, when, when they're feeling a bit racist, they can dance like this. Okay. Just, just to stop themselves. Just okay. to stop themselves. So you're not gonna dance? I'm not gonna dance. I do you not. And how important it is to dance. It's the way to enact action. Yeah. 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 Okay, then I'm going to need to give you an F, Sally, because this class specifically teaches the years of history, the long history of how you're oh. able to go to school because everyone danced. Oh, what does it mean? So during studying history, everyone dancing? Uh, yes. Sorry, Miss Martha, I just, I just wanted to get my extra credit real quick, so... Um, I just, I just want to know what you think about that. Ooh. <laughs> See, Sally, look at this. This is a prime example. That's what? history in the making. Wow. Awesome. I can't wait to take this A home to my mom. Whoa. Whoa. Teacher, so should I dance? Uh, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. I'm trying to do the, the WAP. The WAP. Is this right? Is this... <laughs> Is this right? Is this the web? Am I doing it? Is there See, anything? Like Sally, this ninth grade class is built on web. <laughs> oh. See, I'll try to do better. I'll try to do better. But teacher, Sally doesn't know how to dance. Have you not been paying attention to my lectures? Oh, that doesn't, oh, that's not what I meant. No, I was paying attention to your class, but just I don't know how to move my body. Here, it, it goes like this. See, because I don't know how everyone is doing this dancing, but this is my dancing. Oh, I can do this. I can do this. Yeah, any way you can move your body. Yes. I can do this, and I can learn. You're getting it. Yes, I'm getting better and better, I guess. Yes. Okay. Um, I would like one vote, please. I'm ready to vote. 
Uh, one okay. vote coming right up. Uh, well, let's see here. Um, okay, this is what I got. Ooh. <laughs> oh, wow. So put that down. <laughs> okay, I see that's a vote. And done. That's going to the Republican candidate based on that dance. Wait, no. Okay, no, okay. that's not what I meant. Did yes. I misspell it? Let me try again. Okay, okay. Well, uh, let's uh, cross that out, but initial it. Uh, okay, one more time. Here we go. Okay, th th this is what I want. This is what I want. You I know see, what I mean? I see. Okay, I understand you're going third-party libertarian. Let me just put it down here for you. No, 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 no. If we're going third-party, it's not that one, okay? Okay. Uh, one, one more time. All right, all right, all right. This is going to, I mean, I'm pretty sure this ballot is going to be invalid anyway, the amount of marks we're putting on it, but let's go. Look, hang that, Chad. Here we go. This is what I want. Ah, I see. Socialist party. Thank you. Okay. God. Ugh, why is it so hard? Well, here in Georgia, we've uh, put uh, some laws on exactly what moves go to what, what candidates. Okay. But any moves that are questionable, indecipherable, or use the hips or ass in any way you're giving to Republicans? Well, that anything right. well, anything that uses the genitalia, hips or ass, cannot go to a, Repub a Republican candidate. But anything that is jerky in the shoulders or like a two-step side to side. Okay, so like this, like that. Oh, like yeah, that that's it. Mm, that's a Mitt Romney okay. right there. Yeah, it is. But I'm not voting for Mitt Romney. Just let's be super clear. Oh, I'm sorry. I already put Mitt Romney down. He's oh not even God, a candidate this year. Oh, my God, I don't want Mitt Romney. Why won't you let me vote? I'm letting you, you vote for Mitt for Romney. Like 500 years, Georgia. 500 years we've talked about this. I will let you vote for the okay. Republican candidate. No, I don't want it. I don't want it. All right. Well, can you at least throw away a Republican vote the way that you're throwing away my vote? Um, no. Okay. Okay. So no cancel outies. <sighs> I wish there was something I could do about this, but I have to get back to the Amazon warehouse and work for 16 hours straight. Yeah. So. I'm sorry. Only one day here. Only one day. Oh, I know. <laughs> I, I'm actually, I'm going to get, Oh, I'm going to be peeing in bottles for weeks. Just actually, because I took actually it looks like right now uh, you asking to vote for the Socialist Party has invalidated your registration, so you'll need to register next year. Okay, you know what? Yeah? Why, why am I not just registered already? Because I have a driver's license. Why Why can't I just be registered? Why, what is this? I don't even understand what this is, register well, separately. Well, you see, I... You know I'm here. I'm I I'm protecting the nation and all of its and all of its uh, very fragile uh, democracy by making sure that people only vote Republican. Okay, okay. Look, none of this makes sense. Like you already know what I owe in taxes. Why am I filing taxes? You already know that I'm here. Why don't you just let me vote? Why do I have to register? What does any of this mean? I mean, at some point, you're going to have nobody vote, and then nobody can even vote for a Republican. Um, ma'am, I'm sorry, but I'm feeling pretty impressed right now. Ma'am, 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 are you harassing? I'm the supervisor here. Are you harassing? Thank I'm... you. Thank you. Thank you, Nick. Help me out, please. Okay. So, you know, what what, this is what is I was doing. What we need to do is just pray her away. These heathens need to go away. So just let's, can we just pray together? Like, if we pray enough, she'll just disappear. Okay. So this is the trick where we put the ills of a sick society onto the individual. So if only I would meditate more, and if only I would recycle my straws, then the world could survive. Is that is that what we're doing now? Only if you meditate to a very specific person. Yeah, and you wear special underwear. Is it Jordan Peterson? Because I'm not going to do it if it's Jordan Peterson. His uh, daughter only gets me. You know that, right? That's <laughs> fucking crazy. That makes no sense. Pray, just pray the vote away. Just pray the vote away. Don't pray the vote away. Uh, I would also accept Joe Rogan. You can, you can, you can pray to Joe Rogan. Uh, As an entry spirit. This is infuriating. There's more people like me than there are people like you in Georgia. How, how does it always end up like this? Well, 
we put the lines in very specific places. Okay. Yeah. And prayer is very powerful. Very, very powerful. Yeah, we're going to bring this back to schools. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. I've just been kind of thinking that maybe I would just become a nomad. I just watch Nomad Land. They're so good. Dude, uh, it's, it's, it's so, so good. I think I'm just going to, I think I'm just going to hit the open road, give away all my possessions and just like, you know, hang out in the desert. Dude, fuck it. It's your year. That's, that's what I'm saying. I, I feel like this year I have so much making up to do after 2020. It's just time to like, get back to like who I really am. Okay. Yeah. What better way than to like, you know, go out in the hot, stinky desert and like sleep under a cactus? That's that's just kind of I mean, I that's just me. I don't know. And I know that means that, you know, I can't be married to you anymore. But that's fine. What? I mean, that's okay, right? Like you you support this, right? Like I mean, I, I kinda thought we were gonna like go t- together. Like <laughs> Oh, um, I mean, we take, we use my car to get everywhere. So unless you were going to go and take, leave me without a car and without a life partner. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, I was, I was intending to take the car. I do feel that it is like. I'm I'm sorry, babe. You look so, you look so sad. Like, well, I... hey, hey, Cassie. Yeah. He is a jerk. You yeah. just let break up with him. He's a jerk. He took car. He using your your card. He's using your cash. He's using you. You're right. You're right. You know what? I'm going to go on my nomad land adventure before he does. I'm just going to, he doesn't, he can't even drive. So I'm just going to take the car and strand his ass. Yes, that's it. That's what I'm talking about. Cassie, you can go by yourself. You're always so right. I mean, I almost, hey, I'm about to get a divorce and like, I really like being married what do you say we just take a shot? Take a crack at it. You mean take a shot? I mean, at our wedding. You you mean you and me? Yeah. Yes, why not? Let's do it. I love that. I love that. Yes, <laughs> let's do it. All right, babe, I'm all packed up, ready to go. Um, I just need those keys. Okay, um, you can get them from my future wife, Helena. Um, hey, yeah. get <laughs> out of here! You are a jerk! We don't need you! Go away! Tag, tag, tag. <laughs> uh, I, I know, Michael, that you are not out yet and you need to come out slowly. But why do we have to be in the desert? Why? What, why do we have to be zero miles from everyone? It's just like... I'm sorry. I just, you know, I just feel like I like to do things really, really, really gradually, okay? And I just was trying to take it really slow. And what better way than just like reset entirely? You but there's know? no and one to I... come out to. There's no one here in miles. Oh my I, God. I know, I know, but you know, we can come out to ourselves first and then eventually we can like come out <laughs> to like, you know, other people. That's just kind of what I was thinking. Hey. I, I gave up the SMM bars, like the Eagle in LA. I, I gave up all these gay bars, like Splash and oh, everything. Oh, hi yes. there, friends. You don't see a lot of folk all the way out here. Oh, especially oh. folk who look like they need something to say. They got something oh. to share. I can see it on your uh, face, so pensive. Uh, yeah, so, well, hello. Uh, hi. <laughs> my, well, hi, Rawhide. Hi, Rawhide. Good afternoon. How'd you know my name is Rawhide? Woo! 
It's just this there and your little rainbow star over there. Oh, it does I say know. it, doesn't it? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm a plum awesome. goof, ain't I? Yeah. You, uh, uh, well, I, I, we do have something to say. We do kind of have something on our minds. I'm all ears. I love well, the confessional. Oh, my God. I need... Go, go. Are you ready? Are you ready? I just want to take this moment. I'm ready. Uh, here's, here's, here's what I wanted to say. Here's what I want to say. Okay. okay. We are really hungry. And uh, I wonder what the, if. What the? Uh, uh, hungry? I, oh, I was just wondering if there's IHOP or some sort of like. Uh, Didn't you just say oh, you're hungry no. for dicks? You're hungry for dicks. Come on, say it. Say <laughs> I, it. Out here yeah, in like, the middle of nowhere, there's no IHOP. I mean, we might have a national house of pancakes, but. Nothing so fancy as an international <laughs> one. Oh, Raha, you're so funny. You, you make you make me laugh. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, uh, that that was that was it. Yeah, I figured it was a bit of a long shot, but that's that's really all we wanted to say. So, well, there's a Denny's about two miles down if you need it, and a Waffle House not too far if you like them smothered and covered. Uh, I do like them smothered smothered and covered. Uh, if you. Uh, catch my drift. Um, right, 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 honey. <laughs> uh, I mean, he's talking about lube, lube. He <sighs> needs lube. We don't have lo- lube here in this desert. Everything is just so dry. Wait yeah. a minute. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. So on the menu, we got all kinds of stuff. We got poppers. Anybody here like poppers? <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah, love yeah, a jalapeno yeah. popper. I love them. Okay. So tasty. <laughs> all right. Well. I'll, uh, I'll get those apps ready. Uh, anything else you want to say to me before I go? Uh, okay, I'm going to do... I, I want some buns, hard buns. I need hard buns. Okay. Hard, okay, hard buns. Got those. I'll put them right on the... I'll put them right on for you. All good. Okay. I'll put a hot dog next to it. <laughs> okay, you can put them together. <laughs> Don't put them together. It's up to you. Uh, wow. Uh, Got to say... Uh, did not know that uh, that I would be feeling some type of way about the menu of this restaurant. I gotta say, it's got me feeling got me feeling a little courageous, babe. I gotta. Well, I'll tell you what. Babe. Once you take these poppers, you're gonna be loosened right up. I tell you what. Once you have a bite of these, you're gonna be you're gonna be so relaxed. You can say it. Right. You can say it. Oh. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm just gonna tuck on in over here and okay. And I'll, get ready I'll, to do. It. All right, I'll be right back with your order, <laughs> cutie. Ooh, I want to. I just want to touch you. I want to squeeze you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. See, isn't this romantic? Oh, it is. it's like it we're Thelma and Louise, but the get guy version, right? Like. Yeah. You know, yeah. and this. I I really love this. I I I love this, and you know, I. It feels worth it. This feels this feels worth, you know, leaving my wife. In the dust, yeah. In the, in the dust of my RV, you know, just to hit that open road um, and to find you, you know, it felt yeah, yeah, yeah. felt so right. Mm. Just us. Oh God, I still miss. I just miss the bars. I just, I just miss being a hoe. I just miss it so much. Hey, it's it's okay. Here, you can you can still be you can be a hoe anywhere on this open road. Yeah, yeah, I guess I guess that's that's American dream, right? You're, as long as I'm here, you're you're my hoe. You know, you're you're a hoe wherever I am, if okay. that makes sense. I guess that makes sense. Mm. Okay, you smell so good. Yeah, <laughs> I just want to say that. You just, oh my goodness. Oh, um, mm, uh, yeah, it's, actually, it's, I'm. I haven't stopped being a hoe, and that's not actually my cologne. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I just couldn't. Um, I just couldn't think it anymore. Babe, what? Hold on. Oh, this looks like a bad time. Sorry, I'll just, I'll just drop these off. Yeah, just yeah. Uh, thanks, uh, babe. Hey, uh, hey, you're you're crying an awful lot, babe. Like, can you? Can you just use your words and tell me, like, how, in what ways are you a hoe? Is elsewhere, 
Because there's so many truck stops in this area. Like all the times that we asked for a break, that's that's actually what I was doing. I was getting a break in all these truck stops. When you say getting a break, I'm trying to follow the metaphor. It's like, but... you know, like all we just need like a pit stop, like a pit. Hey, uh, I found a hole back here. Does anybody want to put something through it? Uh, no. Babe, babe, where are you going? Where are you going? Don't. Oh, oh, oh. It's calling with me. It's it's like a siren. A it's, a siren. Oh. it's a siren. Am I just supposed to enjoy these jalapenos oh. without you? Oh. And <laughs> see. <laughs> Selling cookies, selling cookies. Anybody want a cookie? Hi, I'll take a cookie. Oh, thank you. Here. Thank you. Oh, thank you for buying this. Uh, you look so kind. Yeah, I was wondering if uh, you wanted to... Uh... Give me that recipe. Oh, you mean this cookie recipe? You just want to have it? Yeah, I mean, you seem so kind, and that's what kind people do, right? Is they, uh... Oh, that's right. Oh, okay. Mm, yes. Oh. Kid, don't sell it. That's a, oh. pro that's a proprietary recipe. And oh. she's a corporate shark gonna steal your cookies and sell them to the world. Get out of here. Oh my god. She wants to shortchange you like an AMC stonk. Well, I ain't gonna let that happen. Ooh, I didn't know that. Thank you for telling me. Yeah, kids, you and me, we're going places. How about you oh. uh, give me some of that recipe? How much do you need? Oh, ten dollars! Ten dollars! Wow, that's really big money! Thank you for that. All right, ten dollars. Wait, so all I had to do was pull out money, and you would give away the recipe? Yeah, it's big money. Ten dollars! I can buy five Kit Kats. There you go, fifty-two thousand bells. Two thousand bears? Don't listen to what? her, kids. She's just trying to, just trying to, to scam you. Ooh, ooh! I cannot believe which one I have to believe. Which one? I have. Someone, someone, someone! Please tell me who I, who I said. Pick Mister Wonderful. I didn't come out all the way out of my Shark Tank lair to. By kids <laughs> nothing. Wow, Shark Tank means wow. That sounds awesome. What do you have, Mister Mister Blue Shirts? Well, I got fireworks. Bam! And that's the kind wow. of that's the kind of possess I'll be selling your cookies with. Wow! I love the fireworks. Oh, I'm gonna pick you. Firework is the best. Kids love fireworks. <laughs> My name is Jeff Bezos, and I swear on my life, you will get your money back. Jeff, swear. Jeff, swear. Thank you. Thank you. And here's my recipe. You can take it. I write down on the leaf because I didn't have money to buy paper. So I just took a leaf from the forest, and I write down every recipe for these cookies. Kid, someday this leaf is going to be in the Smithsonian, right next to Fonzie's jacket, and it's going to say, the best dang oatmeal raisin cookie that Jeff yeah. Bezos ever stole. I wow. mean, I mean, bought and, and used fairly. Yes, yes, that's, that's, that's all I want. Yes. Tag. All right, Jeff, I see, I see you again. Uh, I'm just putting stuff in outer space and you're just 
torturing people in warehouses. Our paths, they cross at last. How's Grimes doing? She's doing great. I love fucking a weird little kid and getting her pregnant. How's your wife that just left you doing? She married Where'd your hair go? She married a she married a high school teacher and I got this to pay. <laughs> okay. Well, you look stupid. I gotta say that. This is by the way, I've been working on my South African accent. Is it still good? It sounds great. It's more like South African than South African, huh? I think so. It's like, okay. you know, you've reinvented that country. Thank you. Look, I'm not the first. <laughs> you know, my ancestors <laughs> went down there and they were like, ooh, <laughs> let's, let's do this completely differently. Yeah, we'll, <laughs> be, we'll be the minority population and yet still just run the same. And the ruling class. That's right. Yeah. So much fun. Babe, babe, I found a cat. Can we oh adopt a cat? Grimes, look. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Grimes. If you want a cat, get a whole get a whole yard of cats. I don't care. I'm I'm never home anyway. So, yay! I get a cat. Yeah, have fun. She's just a child. She's a child's brain and a child's body, and that's what I like. Yeah. Well, I made this this toupee out of the most luxurious warehouse worker I could shave. Oh, uh, okay. All right. So we're still doing that. All right. Listen, I had the most billions and then you beat me. So until I get the most billions again, I don't want to hear about how good it is having a, a pop star with without without the maturity level that you have that you can boss around. Okay. okay? I don't have that hey, yet. Look at it. I think we live in a simulation. So what, what is age? What is consent? But hey, check this out. I still have the highest workplace injuries, injury rate. I mean, you have more workers, but my workers, like percentage-wise, are getting injured more. So I feel like I'm winning. I got no unions, man. Babe, oh, yeah. what's up? Sorry, I the cat just ran in here. I named it 17.53. Yeah. Oh, there he oh, is. There he is. Grimes, I found it. Yeah, oh. Maybe All right. Like right before. Maybe you need a bell to put on it or something. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to route its meows into this keyboard and make a new song. Hey, look, you know, it's your cat. So e you've got to take care of it or get one of the slaves to do it. Oh, wow. You get it. Um, okay. But, uh, <laughs> wow. Just, to, just the mind of an idiot, you know? <laughs> well. <laughs> <It's> unbelievable. <laughs> How lucky am I? You know what I mean? Damn it, Elon. You know, you know that I'm alone sleeping on my Scrooge McDuck size pile of gold coins and cookie recipes that I stole from children. Him, hey, hey man, I'll still throw orgies every once in a while. You could come, you could come through. It's they're, fine. They're not the same after Jeffrey Epstein. I, well, I know they're not, but look at all these women who learned to code <laughs> and can't get jobs in Silicon Valley because basically all of them <laughs> have to come to these uh, in the hopes that they can get hired, but instead we just ruin their reputations. It's so much fun. Ah, smell that. That's the sound. That's the smell of democracy at work. That's right. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well. White. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you are so quiet today. Hey, come on. <laughs> I'm hey. confused. What? What did you say? I just found this new artist. She's like really like niche. Like not a lot of people know her. So it's just kind of like, she's kind of, I'm like kind of brooding. Like. Oh, music is about. You found a new artist and you love and you are depressed because they are so talented. It's tragic. They're a tragic talent. Oh, I'm 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 confused. Are you are you sad because they are tragic artists or or you are disappointed yourself because you are not 
good enough for, for them. No, no, I'm just, you know, I have no other problem. So this is just the saddest thing that I've ever went through is like just hearing the, like the piano keys and the glitching noises and tin cans. And it's just like, I feel so much. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Mary, I, I feel the same way too. Like when, when, when she talks about not having raw sushi, like caviar, it's like, I feel, I feel for her when she doesn't get to go on her yacht. Uh, it's just, it, it, it just feels so sad. So I, you like Lord too? Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, um, uh, so I, just... I, I'm the only one who cannot understand artist mind. I, I don't get it. I don't know why you are, you guys are so gloomy and <laughs> why it's tragedy for the artist. Maybe I'm, I'm not sensitive enough. Maybe you'll never understand until you have your second, your second swing pool with a jacuzzi, you know, oh. like when you can't have your, yeah. But, but I want to understand you guys. You guys are my friend and I want to know about you. You need a helicopter first. You really do. Yeah, you'll never understand. A metaphor. Helicopter. Helicopter and... Uh, you guys are we all just looking back. Hey, hey, I have an idea. Okay. Move your body and you you can feel happy. Just move your body. Okay. Don't think about any tragedy or any art art piece. Just to get rid of the ideas in your head. Okay, I'll just take it out this way, slowly. Uh. I don't know. Oh, it didn't work? It's just we still don't have like our sh champagne yet. Uh. Yeah, we're only 12 years old and so... When will we go to Napa Valley? Yeah. <laughs> when? It's like, it's not fair. No one understands us. Oh, oh, I I want to know, but I, I cannot, maybe, uh, let okay. me know, teach me, teach me. Here, here, here. So this is like the egg of entitlement. So there, that's an egg of entitlement. So you, yeah. you get, yeah. And Feel you'll that know, sadness that you're yeah, feeling. You'll, that, you'll that's my burden. Okay. You'll, this can make me wow <laughs> wow this is the egg of gnarlies and yeah. this is the egg of the mindset and this is the egg of the emotion wow now i can think about what you're feeling, I can imagine. So, see, are you angry that you don't have the latest PS5 and Switch at the same time? Oops. Are you... Oops. What? So, Oops. are you angry? What? Well, hey there, champ. How's it going? Oh, uh, I'm very confused. Oh, no. Tell me all about it. What's going on? Is it I that, don't know. Is it that bullying? I cannot Sorry, go ahead. I'm interrupting you. That's rude to me. Sorry, go ahead. No, oh, Dr. Smith, I had a friend and they were so sensitive. And I was 
trying to understand them, but it was really hard. And I had the egg, and that egg made me acknowledge everything, but still I was not good enough for them. Oh, it's, a, it's 12 years old is a hard age. You know, sometimes, sometimes people get into that hip new indie music about Cristal and Rolex watches, and they just don't have time for us blue collar truck driving, Coors Light drinking. Oh, not you yet, of course, because you're 12. Uh, oh, it is. Yeah. 12 years of my life is really tough. I don't know. Can you do? You, do you still want to be their friends, or do you want to move on, greater pastures? Oh, do I have to pick only one? Well, of course not. You're only twelve years old. Oh, yeah. I I'm not sure I can be friends with them, or maybe I can move on because I'm only twelve years old. I have like a 60 years more or 70 years more so maybe well i'm sure dr smith it's you probably it's, uh, yeah sorry, sorry it's, it's, it's probably closer to 50 years at this point uh but here you said you had an egg that made everything right right yes. try this try this it's the it's the orb of enlightenment oh do i do i eat we this also, one or we also call it xanax uh, do you eat that one? I don't know. <laughs> Try. Okay, okay. Hey, Dr. Smith, you take these eggs. You take these eggs and it. you you try to eat and how's changing. You tell me. Eat the egg and see what changes. All right. Oh. Oops, sorry, Butterfingers. My bad. Sorry. Oops. <laughs> oh, that's why. I, that's why I never got picked on the sports teams. Uh, it's okay, Doctor Smith. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I see it all. Yeah. I see everything. Egg. And then, and then she dropped an egg at my feet, and I bit into it, and suddenly, every meow that came out of Grimes's new single hit to the core i knew everything well it's okay are you gonna are you gonna let me talk so, yeah i'm sorry i just go go okay my name is not grimes it's lil nas x and i <laughs> killed the devil and that means that whenever you take xanax you have to talk to me oh. and okay we can do that that's fine i'm cool with that I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm going, I'm going a mile a minute, Lil Nas. You, you completely are. You're going as fast as I was going down that stripper pole all the way to hell. That's your brain. Oh my God. Oh my God. But it's okay. It's okay. I'm here. It's all good. I died for your sins. Little... Just relax. Take a breath. Okay. Okay. Take a breath. Take a breath. Take a breath. Okay. Oof, and let it out. I want to be able to see it. I want to, like, you know, there you go. There you go. You're doing great. Got to breathe it. Breathe it out. You're doing so good. It's like I'm. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, man. <clears throat> little, Welcome little Nas to the other X. side. Little Nas X. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. How do I get to be as enlightened as you? What's the steps? Oof. <laughs> What a question. I think you just need to be the best you you can be. I, you can't be the best I that I can be. I'm on another level. I don't think you can walk in platforms. No, I definitely can't. I don't have the ass for it. No. And you know what? I didn't, I didn't always either, but I worked hard. I worked really hard. I got Nicki Minaj's trainer. Do you think to rebuild my body from scratch? Do you think Billy Ray Cyrus would do a, a, a verse on my album? Sure. Was that he, he really has nothing going on? <laughs> hey, uh, little Nas X, are we still friends now that you're still going on? I don't know if we were ever friends, man. I don't think we were friends. 
What? I made you the godfather of my last child. Yeah. Miley. Yeah, right? Miley. Okay. <laughs> Look, that girl needs a father, not a godfather. Okay. I mean, but- maybe she needs a devil father. Look, I mean, look, I'll take her. I'll show her all the moves. It's fine. She was trying to learn to twerk a few years ago. She almost got the idea, so. I mean, she did say she was gay, and then she said they were nice men when she started dating Aaron Carter or whoever that white boy was, but. Yeah, and he really just looks like he fell right out of a trailer and knocked down every branch in Florida on the way down, you know? You can say that again, little He's Nas. On... See, that's why you're my best friend. Yeah, I don't do meth. <laughs> so, look, but I don't think we're Please. best friends. I need a job. <laughs> job. Hey, Daddy. Yeah. These four stories from the book, I'm still confused. It's really complicated. Yeah, but these are the only books that I'm really allowed to, to, to read from now. I'm I'm sorry. What was the name of the book? Uh, I think this one was called Animal Crossing Improv March 28th. <laughs> oh my god, Daddy, that's why it's so so hard to understand. It's like <laughs> a, just a real life. Yeah. I I'm sorry. Uh but you know, maybe maybe we just maybe we just go get some ice cream. And that is our show. Yay! Yay! I want to do. Yeah! Yay! Thanks, everybody. We have like shows all night, you guys. So maybe you've already seen some shows. There's more shows. Yeah. Uh, up next, we got Killer Kimchi Secrets. That's gonna be cool. Uh, then we got Pageant Detention or how sketch teams are cool as hell. You get to hang out with Sarah again, I think. No pageant tonight. Next month. Okay, never mind. Ignore that. But like, <laughs> take a break. Okay, watch Killer Kimchi Secrets. Take a break. Come back. And we'll be here. Um, yeah, thanks so much. Stick around, everybody. We we got to play Cousins on Thursday? I think we do, yeah. Yeah, we're back this week. Yeah, we've been. I've been having a lot of papers that have coincided magically with... <laughs> <laughs> that's how papers work yeah it's like they're never they're when you want them yeah well especially if you're me and you end up like a few weeks late that it's like you perpetually have one but you're never done <laughs> right <laughs> that's my situation <laughs> all right thanks everybody thanks Stick everybody yay bye, bye. bye.